Hey everyone, this is a short video on how the impatience plant reproduces itself. Here we have a flower. Now this flower started as quite a bit smaller. Where's another one? Started about that size. It's growing a little bit bigger. Then as it matures, the petals start to you know, fade away and then they fall off and this little thing in the middle keeps growing. So you can see here's a couple that have kept growing. They've continued to grow and grow and grow. And now let's see if we can find one that's bigger. Well, a little bit bigger there. Let me see if I can find a mature one. If I remember correctly, it was hiding back here. Yeah, okay. Let's take a closer look. It starts to dangle. And what happens is it reaches a point where it looks like it's going to fall off. And actually, it doesn't fall off. Something even better happens. I'm going to put it down here so we can take a look. This is better. Okay. I'm going to put a little pressure on it so I can show you what would happen naturally when it breaks off from the stem. Whoa. Did you see that? Did you see how far that went? Yep. What did it leave behind? These are seeds. Yep. As you might have guessed. Now these seeds can catapult in the air up to 20 feet. From what I remember reading a website called Mr. Impatience of all things. Big surprise. Um, what also happens here is this little cylinder which once used to be that um, pod is basically round and this moves along the ground which also helps the seeds disperse and this all, this all comes in very handy because we are in a mountaintop rainforest climate that doesn't have a lot of wind during the rainy season so this all helps the impatience plant make more of itself hope you've enjoyed the video stay tuned for more